hello. Welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Anthazar, but y'all can just call me Anthe. <laughs> this is going to be a fun video. <laughs> fun for you, cringy for me. <laughs> oh, dear. to talk about all of the horrible writing mistakes that I have made through my years as a writer. I actually went back and read writing from when I was 12 to 14 to 16 to 18 to 22 years old. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, memory lane. When I was a child, I didn't know what fan fiction was. And so, dear sweet itty bitty baby Anthe wrote The Legend of Zelda fan fiction without realizing she was writing The Legend of Zelda fan fiction. She thought she was going to send it into Nintendo. <laughs> and get it published. <laughs> oh, sweet baby Anthony. Oh, oh, sweet baby Anthony. If only you knew how much future Anthony is laughing at you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I also wrote Pokemon fan fiction. Oh boy. And I wrote my first original novel when I was 22. That one is not full of glaring, horrible things, but it's got its horribleness too. So let's get started! <laughs> so how many times have I started a story with a dream? Three times? <laughs> one of them is more recent, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep that or what, cause it's a sequel to another book, so technically you could cheat <laughs> but yeah the legend of zelda ocarina of time fan fiction starts off with a dream dark billowing clouds thundered overhead <laughs> oh. all right how many times did i start a book with waking up in the morning At least four times. Four times. Any others? Hmm. Five. Hmm. Yeah, five. Five times at least. Anthony, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> Even Zelda agrees. <laughs> Anthony, stop it. For a person whose mornings are horrible and I can't get out of bed and it's just nope, 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 you would think. I would be like, mornings suck. I don't want to write about them. But nope. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time fan fiction starts off after the dream with Link waking up. Now granted, the game starts off with Link. And the greatest line of all time, can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? <laughs> but, but, why were you not creative, Anthe? You, why? <laughs> so, like, there's this scene in the sequel to the first novel that I wrote that nobody will ever read if I don't rewrite it, but I thought I was so smart. Anthe thought she was Brilliant, brilliant, for writing a scene where a character gets dressed in front of a mirror. I thought I was so smart, so creative. I was like, wow, that is cool. And then I don't have to sound all weird third person-y and be like, he wore this and he wore that. Mm -hmm. I thought, oh, in the mirror will work. 
Anthony, you were not as creative as you thought you were. No, you weren't. <laughs> no, you weren't. He let out the breath, but he didn't know that he was holding. Since I write mostly for male protagonists, I actually found this one. In the marked heroes, while I was editing it, and I was like, what the frick frack paddywhack is this line doing in my book? How dare you? How dare you? The atrocity that this line. <laughs> I very viciously and angrily deleted it. <laughs> so yeah. Stop holding them breaths. Although I have lots of ticks that I use now. It's all whatever. How many stories did I start off with a funeral and it was raining? One. Why? <laughs> Parents die. That's another trope. Well, you know, that trope is never going to die in my stories. Because we couldn't get found family <laughs> without them. <laughs> Parents die. We get found family. Woohoo! Oh, baby Anthe. Baby Anthe, why? Why? Why was there so much dialogue? So much dialogue. Oh my word. There was no description. It's just all dialogue. What the frick frick paddywhack, girl? Why? And then when the description does come, info dumping up the hills. Why? Oh, okay. We're okay. We're okay. And the adverbs in the dialogue tags. Now look, I'm not crapping on adverbs. I use them all the time. But I mean all of them at the end of dialogue tags. She said sweetly. She said softly. He said snidely. He said coldly. She snapped at him angrily. All those little L-Y adverbs at the end of the dialogue tag. <sighs> They're everywhere. They're everywhere! Oh! <laughs> everywhere! Like, I try to use them sparingly. Try being the key word here, but you know. Hello! Hello! Wow! Wow. And then, back on the dialogue, it's so cringy. Oh my word. Oh my word. All of the dialogue is so bad. No, I mean, okay, there's some there's some nice bits here and there. It's not terrible. And the writing I wrote when I was 22 is not as bad <laughs> as the stuff I wrote when I was 14. My stomach hurts just thinking about it. <laughs> but, but, but the dialogue is so bad in so many places, like, Everybody sounds so bad, from the adults, to the crappy adults, to the not so crappy adults, to the kids. They all sounded the same. <gasps> I'm getting a knot in my stomach, oh boy. The chosen one trope, it's everywhere. Why is it everywhere? Why, Anthe, why? Why? Chosen one, like, like, the Legend of Zelda, of course, is chosen one, but still is chosen one. My first novel, chosen one, is chosen girl. And it was, why? Why? With prophecies, too. Harry Potter, I blame you. Whoa. Chosen one prophecy. Where it's not even, it's not satire or parody, like, like I want to do someday. It's just... You're the chosen one just because of this, this and that. Yeah. Yeah, my note says crappy chosen one, holy frick. Cause this applies to my Pokemon fan fiction and my Legend of Zelda fan fiction. So many crappy, useless OCs, original characters in fan fiction. Yanti, stop it. Don't, don't do that. Stop that. No, just, no, just there's so many useless ones. Like they are not needed. 
they're just there. Everybody's got a name. Which, by the way, that's coming up. Why? No, but, but there's so many. This pains my soul. Oh. And yet, I have this feeling of nostalgia for them. I am conflicted. Does that help? Anthony, did you have a problem with names? Just a little bit? Just, just, just a little bit? The names. Oh. My. Word. Oh. Oh my heck. Everything had to be a made up name. Like I can't even, I can't even tell you them. They're so bad. Why? 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 They're so bad. <laughs> I'm in pain. I'm okay. We're okay. There are plenty more <laughs> horrible writing mistakes that I used to make as a new writer. And you know what? That is okay. Well, it's only okay because, you know, 10 to 20 years later, ain't making the same mistakes now. <laughs> I'm making new ones. <laughs> Yay me! Ugh. Go back and read your crappy writing. Don't look at me like that. You can't tell me your first writing wasn't crappy. Cause it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> Love you. Join me in basking in the crappiness. <laughs> Cause it's a thing. It's real. Every writer has it. You're not gonna be amazing right from the womb. And if you are, you're a prodigy. Embrace it. Keep improving. Share the world in... Give the world your prodiginess, your honor. <laughs> the rest of us commoners, <laughs> the rest of us commoners have to work our booties off to get to new horizons. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video where I was mostly screaming in agony. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below if you look at your old writing and have a sense of nostalgia and cringe. Uh, I have fond feelings for a lot of it and then... Mm, mm. But those stories were the stepping stones to where I am right now. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you did, I would love it if you would give me a like and please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on Mondays and Fridays. <laughs> Until next time, bye!